Why do people get so fat? Why do we get so depressed? What is the reason for anxiety? It's time to find the right answers from a different perspective. Obesity is not just about being fat. It's more than that. Obesity is the biggest health threat today. Putting on some weight doesn't always mean a health problem. Millions of fat people suffer from life-threatening health problems today. Yet, some fat people manage to lead a happy and healthy life. Have you ever noticed that? What makes those fat guys different from the rest? Let's try to find some answers. Ask yourself, when it comes to overweight, what thought would first cross your mind? It's the calorie intake, isn't it? We just got used to this way of thinking today. Most of us are too quick to blame the food they eat. Of course there is some truth in this. But this is not the underlying cause of the fat-related problems. Calorie calculation has little to do with obesity. As long as you have a well-functioning digestive system, the calorie is nothing much to worry about. Because a healthy digestive system is already smart enough to make the right decisions about the food you eat. It would already know how much to absorb, how much to store, and how much to dump. People with a healthy digestive system stay healthy no matter how many calories they take. On the other hand, if the system is messed up, it tends to store more fat than what it should. Consequently, people with unhealthy digestive system get fat and sick even with lower calorie intakes. It's mainly not about the food. It's about how your body is processing it. Although the calorie intake has something to do with overweight, it is not the root of obesity. Then what is the root? That's exactly what we're here to find out. The risk of obesity is higher in patients with psychiatric disorders. The link between depression and obesity is clear. Depression and obesity are intertwined, but nobody knows why. These are not my statements. Simply Google these words and see for yourself. You'll be amazed at the number of articles and documents out there stressing this problem. With enough research, anyone could realize that depression and obesity are intertwined challenges. It is almost impossible to separate them from one another. They often coexist in the same person. Obesity ups the odds of depression and vice versa. It goes both ways. If someone gets the former, he's most likely to get the latter. Observing these facts, most people assume that one triggers the other. But none of them could ever prove their assumptions. Nobody knows which causes which. Because this is an intertwined challenge, and it's very complicated. But the truth is much simpler than what we think. Neither one is the real cause. Both depression and obesity are two different symptoms of a single cause. And what might that be? It's nothing but the emotional stress. How is it possible? Here is how. We know that obesity and inactivity are strongly tied together. But inactivity is not just about sedentary lifestyle. It's also about the inactivity of the digestive system. Here's where stress would come into play. When a person is under long-term emotional stress, his digestive system starts to malfunction. The direct result of a malfunctioning digestive system is nothing but obesity. It may sound a bit confusing. So let me explain this from a different angle. We all know that we become fat by sedentary lifestyle or by laziness or both. Let's take a closer look at this. What's the impact of sedentary lifestyle? The human body is not designed to just sit in a place all day. It is meant to make a lot of movements. The more you move, the better your system functions. When you are sitting for too long in one place, you just deny the necessary movements that your body deserves. As a result, your body begins to develop stress within. 
Studies confirm today that sedentary lifestyle is a cause of long-term emotional stress. This emotional stress would slowly begin to mess with the function of the digestive system. This process would eventually lead to obesity. In short, sedentary lifestyle builds emotional stress. Stress would then mess with the digestive system. The malfunctioning digestive system would finally result in obesity. Let's keep this fact in mind and move on to laziness. What about laziness? We used to call people lazy when they don't work enough. Lazy people don't make enough body movements. They just like to sit somewhere and do nothing. Isn't this very similar to the sedentary lifestyle? Absolutely. This means the stress development in their body is also similar. Are you beginning to see a pattern here? No matter whether it's from sedentary lifestyle or laziness. Because in the end, everything boils down to only one thing. It is all about emotional stress. Yes, obesity is a result of emotional stress. But the story doesn't end here. It gets further interesting. As time goes by, the symptom would begin to nourish the cause. Here is how it works. When you are under long-term emotional stress, you become obese. You begin to store the bad stuff in your body in the form of fat. As you store more and more fat, they would further complicate the function of your system. This process would nourish the already existing stress even further. It's like a child after growing up, beginning to take care of its parent. Thus, the symptom eventually develops into a cause. We could keep depression somewhat under control by controlling the body weight. In fact this is what many of us are doing today. Dieting, workouts, calorie calculation, you name it. Of course this works to some extent. But this is not a permanent solution. You don't have to take my word for it. Just take a look around. You can easily realize it to be a fact. People who work hard to lose weight, look relieved of stress during their workout periods. What do you think will happen as soon as they stop their workouts and food restrictions? That's right, they would regain all that stress along with all that weight they lost. Haven't you noticed this? Just look around and observe. What do these facts mean? Workouts and food restrictions help in relieving stress. But they don't work as permanent solutions. The permanent solution comes from something else. It's about making some changes in your life. It has very little to do with weight loss programs. It's not about treating the symptoms. It's more about recognizing the underlying cause and fixing it. So far we've learned that the cause of obesity is emotional stress. Now it's time to ask the next big question. What's causing the emotional stress? The permanent solution for depression and obesity is exactly where we find the right answer to this question. That's exactly where this journey is going to end. Let's meet again at the next milestone. Until then, stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned.